Will humans ever be immortal? The ability to live forever is something that both fictional supervillains and Silicon Valley billionaires have wanted for so long. Hey folks, welcome back to AI Science. A fan of our videos? Well then, give this video a like and subscribe and help us grow and be part of the science community. We're living in a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to drastically prolong our lives for the first time in human history. Recent scientific breakthroughs and technological developments that will soon translate into affordable and accessible life extensions are technologies that will allow us to breach the 122-year sound barrier. It's innovations in genetic engineering, regenerative medicine, healthcare, hardware, and health data that we're talking about. Slowing, reversing, or even stopping aging will soon be a commonly accepted goal in the medical world. This is becoming an inevitability as technology advances. Understanding and manipulating our genes and cells, as well as the development of small-scale health diagnostics and the use of data for everything from drug discovery to precision illness treatment and revolutionizing how we think about healthcare and aging. When we talk about the longevity revolution, we are referring to the cumulative effect of several breakthroughs that are currently taking place in various domains of science and technology. These concurrent advancements are forming the start of a hockey stick growth curve that will have far-reaching consequences. The Human Genome Project, which was completed in 2003, sequenced the whole human genome. All 3 billion nucleotide-based pairs represented around 25,000 unique genes. The project cost billions of dollars and took 13 years to finish, making it one of the most ambitious scientific endeavors in history. Your own genome can now be sequenced in a single afternoon for as low as $200 in a laboratory. The ramifications of this achievement are nothing short of transformative. Most inherited disorders and the likelihood of developing cancer can be predicted by gene sequencing. Angelina Jolie famously had a prophylactic double mastectomy after her personal genome sequencing revealed a high risk of breast cancer. Genome sequencing aids scientists and doctors in better understanding and developing treatments for a variety of disorders, both common and rare. It aids in the determination of medical therapies that are precisely suited to the specific patient, thanks to improvements in artificial intelligence. Longevity researchers have even discovered a number of so-called longevity genes that can help people live long and healthy lives. Researchers now have a much better understanding of the relationship between genes and aging than they ever had before. While our DNA does not change considerably from birth to death, our epigenome, the system of chemical alterations around our genes that regulate how they are expressed, does. It turns out that the date on your birth certificate is the only way to establish your age. Many longevity scientists now believe that the biological age of your epigenome is significantly more relevant. But best of all, science is starting to give solutions to change your genome and epigenome for a healthier, longer life. CRISPR-Cas9 and other gene editing tools are giving doctors unprecedented power to insert, delete, or change a person's genes. We will be able to eliminate or suppress disease-causing genes while inserting or amplifying genes that promote longevity and good health in the not-so-distant future. Gene therapy works by efficiently giving cells genes that make required proteins in patients whose own genes cannot produce them. Gene editing is just one of the emerging technologies of the genetic revolution. This method is already being used to treat a few uncommon disorders, but it is on its way to becoming a common and very effective medical treatment. By 2025, the FDA hopes to have approved 10 to 20 such therapies. The science of regenerative medicine is another important shift fueling the longevity revolution. The body's functions and tissues, as well as its ability to repair and restore itself, deteriorate with age. As a result, even individuals who live long and healthy lives succumb to heart failure, immune system deterioration, muscular atrophy, and other degenerative diseases. We need a technique to restore the body in the same manner that we repair cars or renovate houses in order to attain our goal of living to 200. A number of intriguing technologies are now guiding the way in that direction. While it is still early, there are a few FDA-approved stem cell therapies addressing extremely specific illnesses in the United States. Stem cells, which are responsible for generating all of your body's cells, tissues, and organs, eventually lose their ability to generate new cells as we age. New medicines, however, aim to enhance the body's ability to renew itself by employing patients' own stem cells. These treatments have the potential to help us maintain our vision, cardiac function, joint flexibility, kidney and liver health as well as spinal repair injuries and cure a variety of illnesses ranging from diabetes to Alzheimer's disease. The Food and Drug Administration has approved 10 stem cell treatments with more likely to follow. 
The only thing to use stem cells to repair or heal existing tissues and organs. But what about generating completely new organs? As far-fetched as it may sound, it is already happening. Millions of people around the world who are in need of a new heart, kidney, lung, pancreas or liver will soon be able to have their own replacement organs made to order using 3D bioprinting, internal bioreactors or new xenotransplantation techniques like using collagen scaffolding from pig lungs and hearts that are populated with the recipient's own human cells. Mechanical solutions will not fail, even if this generation of new biological organs fail. Using computer sensors and electrode arrays that transfer visual and audio information directly to the brain, modern bioengineering has successfully restored lost eyesight and hearing in humans. One of a series of artificial limbs created at John Hopkins can be controlled directly by the wearer's mind, just by thinking about the desired movement. Paraplegics may now run marathons thanks to mechanical exoskeletons and organ failure patients can now live for years longer than expected thanks to prosthetic kidneys and mechanical hearts. Most people will recognize the third breakthrough behind the longevity revolution, connected devices. Wearable health monitor devices like the Apple Watch, Fitbit, and Aura Ring are probably already familiar to you. These devices enable users to obtain data on their own health in a timely manner. For the time being, most of these revelations are minor. However, the field of small-scale health diagnostics is quickly evolving. Wearable, portable, and embedded gadgets will soon drastically reduce premature death from diseases like cancer and cardiovascular disease, extending global life expectancy by years if not decades. Early detection is crucial in this phase of the transformation. More than 30 million of the almost 60 million lives lost each year around the world are due to illnesses that can be reversed if diagnosed early. The majority of these illnesses are non-communicable, such as coronary heart disease, stroke, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, bronchitis, and epicema. At this moment, avoiding life-threatening diseases is mostly out of your control. Once you've had your regular physical exams, quit smoking, started eating healthy, and avoided having unprotected sex. We live in a world where reactive medicine is the norm, unless they're having trouble. Most people don't have access to advanced diagnostic tests. Early detection of medical issues is simply not an option for a substantial percentage of the world's population who live in impoverished, rural, and isolated places with little to no access to diagnostic services, but only for a short time. Healthcare will soon shift from being reactive to proactive. Low-cost, omnipresent linked devices that constantly monitor your health will be critical to this transformation. While some of these gadgets will be exterior or wearable, others will be embedded beneath your skin, consumed with your breakfast, or constantly swimming through your veins. Your heart rate, respiration, temperature, skin secretions, urine and feces contents, free-floating DNA in your blood that could suggest cancer or another disease, and even the organic contents of your breath will all be monitored constantly. These gadgets will be linked to one another to apps that you and your healthcare provider may monitor and to enormous worldwide health databases. This arsenal of diagnostic gadgets will discover exactly what is going on and deliver a precise custom-made cure that is suitable especially for you before any sickness has a chance to take root within your body. As a result, your chances of getting a timely diagnosis of your ailment will be drastically increased. Regardless of cost, convenience, or medical understanding, your body will be kept in a good shape as a five-star hotel. And nearly no one will die from a preventable ailment. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other videos. Until then, stay tuned.